Welcome to her channel. <laughs> Today she'll be showing you how to make a headdress. You okay? <laughs> you got this. <laughs> These are the ingredients that you need a glue gun, glue gun sticks, some felt, I prefer black, cardboard, a fabulous hairband, make sure that it is not too tight or too loose on your head, a marker or a pen, and a pair of scissors. You will need black spray paint or black acrylic paint. The brand doesn't matter, I got the cheapest that I could find. Of course you need feathers. These come from eBay and the museum shop in Nijmegen. I will place the link in the description below. And last but not least, you will need this feather trim. They are available in all kinds of colors. I am so sorry for my horrible English, I really hope you can understand me. I'm going to try to explain what I did during this tutorial. Be aware of the folding direction before you start drawing on the cardboard. Depending on the thickness of the material, a knife is a lot easier to use than a pair of scissors. Now we're going to make the banana shape. Now draw your shape of your head on a piece of paper. You can use double folded aluminum foil on your head to determine the shape. For this part you need some thick cardboard. Glue the top and the sides of your banana shape. Why you ask? <laughs> just because I said so. No, it just looks better in the final product, you'll see. Paint it black with acrylic paint. I use very cheap, poor quality feathers. Check the difference. The reason I use these is because my outfit is weathered, so my mohawk should be there too. The base is ready. Now you can start gluing on your feathers. But keep in mind that you have two sides to stick the feathers on. Whatever you do, don't burn yourself. Ah, that sucks! Use tools to prevent this, it can be anything. If you are going to make a design and start gluing on feathers, check the front of your mohawk and make sure you stick the feathers in the right direction. Now paint the top black, you can use spray paint or acrylic paint. Leave the bottom paint and glue free. If a piece of glue or cardboard appears between your feathers, then at least it does not stand out. And again, do this on both sides. Time to stick the felt or leather or other materials on the cardboard for a nice finish.
snip off excess material. Now we're going to put the whole thing together. Mark the middle at these three points. Before you glue it on, you can always practice a few times with the bottom to get it right. Try to work quickly so that you can correct it a bit. Check if everything is in the middle. If not, you can push it a bit to the side. And don't get yourself burned. Again. Press firmly. I call this glue welding. This way you get more sturdiness. Time to paint. The final step before you put everything together. If everything is well dry, we will glue the feather trim on it. Press the upper feathers well into the glue. Use tools for this. To prevent getting glue everywhere, try to set your glue a bit higher. I forgot to film the rest of it, but I think you got the idea. Your feather base is ready. Now is a good time to decorate your headdress, but I am not going to do that now. Last but not least, I'm going to attach a hairband to it. To determine where your headband should come underneath your mohawk, it is best to put on your hairband and mark the whole thing in front of a mirror. If it seems right, choose a side and punch a hole. I'm using nuts, bolts and washers to attach the hairband to the mohawk. Do not tighten the knot yet. If you are 100% sure that your hairband is perfect straight under your mohawk, check it again on your head if necessary, drill the last hole and then firmly secure the whole thing. And you are done! If you want to see more post apocalyptic related videos, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are going to make a feather mohawk as a result of this video, let me know in the comments below. I am very curious about what you will make of it or send a link or photo on Instagram or Facebook. Anyway, good luck and have fun!